Unemployment Insurance Weekly Claims. Transmission of materials in this release is embargoed until 8.30 a.m. Eastern, Thursday, March 3, 2022. Seasonally Adjusted Data. In the week ending February 26, the advance figure for seasonally adjusted initial claims was 215,000, a decrease of 18,000 from the previous week's revised level. The previous week's level was revised up by 1,000 from 232,000 to 233,000. The four-week moving average was 230,500, a decrease of 6,000 from the previous week's revised average. The previous week's average was revised up by 250 from 236,250 to 236,500. The advanced seasonally adjusted insured unemployment rate was 1.1% for the week ending February 19, unchanged from the previous week's unrevised rate. The advance number for seasonally adjusted insured unemployment during the week ending February 19 was 1,476,000, an increase of 2,000 from the previous week's revised level. The previous week's level was revised down by 2,000 from 1,476,000 to 1,474,000. The four-week moving average was 1,539,500, a decrease of 36,250 from the previous week's revised average. This is the lowest level for this average since April 4, 1970 when it was 1,516,000. The previous week's average was revised down by 250 from 1,576,000 to 1,575,750. Unadjusted data. The advance number of actual initial claims under state programs, unadjusted, totaled 194,693 in the week ending February 26 a decrease of 21,285, or minus 9.9%, from the previous week. The seasonal factors had expected a decrease of 2,985, or minus 1.4%, from the previous week. There were 756,629 initial claims in the comparable week in 2021. The advance unadjusted insured unemployment rate was 1.3% during the week ending February 19 a decrease of 0.1 percentage point from the prior week. The advance unadjusted level of insured unemployment in state programs totaled 1,858,860, a decrease of 51,966, or minus 2.7 percent, from the preceding week. The seasonal factors had expected a decrease of 53,662, or minus 2.8 percent, from the previous week. A year earlier the rate was 3.4% and the volume was 4,848,404. The total number of continued weeks claimed for benefits in all programs for the week ending February 12 was 1,971,279, a decrease of 62,625 from the previous week. There were 18,593,212 weekly claims filed for benefits in all programs in the comparable week in 2021. During the week ending February 12, extended benefits were available in the following two states, New Jersey, and New Mexico. Initial claims for UI benefits filed by former federal civilian employees totaled 526 in the week ending February 19, a decrease of 1,089 from the prior week. There were 338 initial claims filed by newly discharged veterans, a decrease of 34 from the preceding week. There were 10,594 continued weeks claim filed by former federal civilian employees the week ending February 12, an increase of 51 from the previous week. Newly discharged veterans claiming benefits totaled 4,645, a decrease of 182 from the prior week. The highest insured unemployment rates in the week ending February 12 were in Alaska, 2.6, California, 2.6, New Jersey, 2.5, Rhode Island, 2.4, Massachusetts, 2.3, Minnesota, 2.3, New York, 2.2, Illinois, 2.1, Connecticut, 2.0, Montana, 1.9, and Pennsylvania, 1.9. The largest increases in initial claims for the week ending February 19 were in Michigan, plus 3,500, Kansas, plus 724, Utah, plus 454, Connecticut, plus 349, and District of Columbia, plus 239, while the largest decreases were in Missouri, minus 6,949, New York, minus 3,037, Ohio, minus 2,212, California, minus 2,182, and Tennessee, 
minus 1,959. Unemployment insurance data for regular state programs. Week ending February 26. Initial claims, seasonally adjusted. 215,000. Initial claims, not seasonally adjusted. 194,693. Four week moving average, seasonally adjusted. 230,500. Week ending February 19. Insured unemployment, seasonally adjusted. 1,476,000. Insured unemployment, not seasonally adjusted. 1,858,860. Four week moving average, seasonally adjusted. 1,539,500. Insured unemployment rate, seasonally adjusted. 1.1%. Insured unemployment rate, not seasonally adjusted. 1.3%. Initial claims filed in federal programs, unadjusted. Week ending February 19. Federal employees, UCFE. 526. Newly discharged veterans, UCX. 338. Continued weeks claimed filed for UI benefits in all programs, unadjusted. Week ending February 12. Total. 1,971,279. Footnotes. SA seasonally adjusted data. NSA not seasonally adjusted data. Continued weeks claimed represent all weeks of benefits claimed during the week being reported, and do not represent weeks claimed by unique individuals. 1. Prior year is comparable to most recent data. 2. Most recent week used covered employment of 138,088,262 as denominator. 3. Notice. Ongoing claims for PUA and PEUC are no longer included in this news release. Any ongoing claims for these programs represent activity for periods prior to the program's expiration on September 6, 2021. Claims activity for these programs will continue to be posted online at Weekly Pandemic Program Claims. 4. Information on the EB program can be found here. EB program information. 5. Some states maintain additional benefit programs for those claimants who exhaust regular benefits, and when applicable, extended benefits. Information on states that participate, and the extent of benefits paid, can be found starting on page 4 to 5 of this link. Extensions and Special Programs PDF. 6. Information on STC, work sharing can be found starting on page 4 to 11 of the following link. Extensions and Special Programs PDF. 7. Prior year total includes PUA and PEUC claims. Unadjusted initial claims for week ended February 19, 2022. States with an increase of more than 1,000. State. Change. State supplied comment. Michigan. Plus 3,500. Layoffs in the retail trade industry. States with a decrease of more than 1,000. State. Change. State supplied comment. Missouri. Minus 6,949. Fewer layoffs in the manufacturing and management of companies and enterprises industries. New York. Minus 3,037. Fewer layoffs in the construction, accommodation and food services, and transportation and warehousing industries. Ohio. Minus 2,212. Fewer layoffs in the manufacturing industry. California. Minus 2,182. Tennessee. Minus 1,959. New Jersey. Minus 1,318. Indiana. Minus 1,040. Technical notes. This news release presents the weekly unemployment insurance, UI, claims reported by each state's unemployment insurance program offices. These claims may be used for monitoring workload volume, assessing state program operations and for assessing labor market conditions. States initially report claims directly taken by the state liable for the benefit payments, regardless of where the claimant who filed the claim resided. These are the basis for the advance initial claims and continued claims reported each week. These data come from ETA 538, Advance Weekly Initial and Continued Claims Report. The following week initial claims and continued claims are revised based on a second reporting by states that reflect the claimants by state of residence. These data come from the ETA 539, Weekly Claims and Extended Benefits Trigger Data Report. A. Initial Claims. An initial claim is a claim filed by an unemployed individual after a separation from an employer. The claimant requests a determination of basic eligibility for the UI program. When an initial claim is filed with a state, 
Certain programmatic activities take place and these result in activity counts including the count of initial claims. The count of U.S. initial claims for unemployment insurance is a leading economic indicator because it is an indication of emerging labor market conditions in the country. However, these are weekly administrative data which are difficult to seasonally adjust, making the series subject to some volatility. b. Continued weeks claimed. A person who has already filed an initial claim and who has experienced a week of unemployment then files a continued claim to claim benefits for that week of unemployment. On a weekly basis, continued claims are also referred to as insured unemployment, as continued claims reflect a good approximation of the current number of insured unemployed workers filing for UI benefits. The count of U.S. continued weeks claimed is also a good indicator of labor market conditions. While continued claims are not a leading indicator, they roughly coincide with economic cycles at their peaks and lag at cycle troughs. They provide confirming evidence of the direction of the U.S. economy. C. Seasonal adjustments and annual revisions. Over the course of a year, the weekly changes in the levels of initial claims and continued claims undergo regularly occurring fluctuations. These fluctuations may result from seasonal changes in weather, major holidays, the opening and closing of schools, or other similar events. Because these seasonal events follow a more or less regular pattern each year, their influence on the level of a series can be tempered by adjusting for regular seasonal variation. These adjustments make trend and cycle developments easier to spot. At the beginning of each calendar year, the Bureau of Labor Statistics provides the Employment and Training Administration, ETA, with a set of seasonal factors to apply to the unadjusted data during that year. Concurrent with the implementation and release of the new seasonal factors, ETA incorporates revisions to the UI claims historical series caused by updates to the unadjusted data. U.S. Department of Labor news materials are accessible at http://www.dal.gov.